Hey everybody, um, welcome back to my kitchen. It looks like we're going to be doing these little cooking demos on a regular basis. Not just for right now when we're doing the bundle, but it's going to be a new thing. I mentioned on another recipe, on another video I did um, just a little bit ago that um, the one thing that has kept me from doing very many videos is uh, the work involved with editing them because I was always so wanting you know not to mess up and make sure I edited everything out and uh, I have a new philosophy this year that's going to help me get more videos out to you uh, and even some lives like Facebook live and Instagram lives um, I'm going to just relax a little bit everything doesn't have to be perfect so what I'm basically saying is I am you're gonna see bloopers and all. Whatever happens, happens, and I'm rolling with it, giving myself a little grace uh, from now on and not needing everything to be perfect. So, uh, what I'm doing today is making a, it's actually a cashew queso, and it's not my recipe. Um, it's from Fat Man's Favorites, Tim Kaufman. I bet a lot of you guys know who he is. If you don't, you need to check out his website and his book. Um, but he has a book called Fat Man's Favorites. It's got recipes in it. Um, it's got his story. I don't even know how much weight he lost and got healthy along with his wife, Heather. They both regained their health. Um, he has an amazing story. And I'm actually going to interview him uh, in just a few days. So, um, interview coming up for with him. And uh, But if you haven't purchased this book. Actually, you know what? You don't even have to purchase it because it's part of the bundle. Um, we we're talking about the bundle so much this uh, last few days and it's going to be from February the 3rd to February the 12th. So it's limited time after that. You won't hear about it anymore and the opportunity will be gone. But it's basically um, a bundle of 113 products from a lot of different plant-based experts and the products are cookbooks, uh, online cooking classes, uh, online um, fitness classes. There's all kinds of stuff included and there's like 90 something contributors to it. 12 of them are plant-based physicians that are putting their book, give, basically giving away their books um, and their online courses. So a lot of it is video driven. So like I um, did my first ever um, mini video series with recipes and basics and all that. It's included in the bundle. The bundle's worth $6,000, but you get it for $49. I'll leave a link for it um, so that you can click on it. And I highly suggest getting it because this is just a crazy deal. It's the first time I've ever been a part of anything like this. And I am thrilled and excited to be doing it because you won't get this these kind of plant-based resources uh, for this price um, again. So. I highly suggest clicking on that link and getting it. So I've never tried this queso before, but we're gonna have um, we're gonna have a, like vegan nachos for dinner. So we're gonna have uh, the beans. I have a taco mixture on my website, Eat Plant Based, and you can type in tacos and you'll you can find my taco mixture. But I wanted you know we we put it on a bed of greens and uh, just pile it full of. Um, onions and salsa and all kinds of good stuff but I wanted to be able to top it off with something and I thought it'd be a good time to um, try this cashew queso from Tim Kaufman and Heather Kaufman and you can watch me make it we'll just see how it turns out gosh it's so easy there's uh, five ingredients total and a blender no cooking or anything can't get much easier than that so he says start off with one cup of raw cashews um, if you don't have like a good high power blender, you, he doesn't say soak them, but I would soak them uh, because it'll soften them up and you won't get a chunky um, texture to this. You want it to be smooth, like a like cheesy smooth. So uh, I'm not soaking mine because I've got the Vitamix, but it, uh, you know what? Well, that's okay. I'm not soaking mine. I was going to say I'll leave a link. If I do this, if I turn this into a YouTube video, I'll leave a link for the Vitamix in it. Um, but yeah, so put the cashews in there, soak them if your blender uh, isn't high powered. One cup, and then one cup of water, and a half a cup of nutritional yeast. For those of you who may be new to cooking plant-based, this is not baking yeast, active yeast. This is inactive. Um, you don't bake with it. 
It is simply for seasoning food. It has a nutty, cheesy flavor to it, and it's delicious. It's great on corn on the cob. Boy, it just powdered up oh, <laughs> corn on the cob and pizza, and you need a little cheesy flavor. It's such a Y'all, it's powdered up. Hang on, I told you you're going to get the bloopers and all. i got to get a sip of my drink. <coughs> okay, all right. So, uh, nutritional yeast. There's all kinds of uh, brands of it, uh, usually in the baking section of your grocery store, even though it's not used for baking. It's for seasoning. But it's really good. My cheese sauce, if you haven't tried my cheese sauce, um, is made with nutritional yeast, so... Go on Eat Plant Based and um, type in cheese in the search bar. And I actually have like five recipes for cheese. Mozzarella, uh, sweet potato cheese, some really good ones. Um, so we've got the nutritional yeast in there. One tablespoon of onion powder. So we're going with that. Stick into my cup. <clears throat> and one cup of your favorite salsa. You can make your own or you can buy it. Salsa is usually always going, always read your labels, but <coughs> it's always going to be vegan for the most part, unless it's some sort of crazy seasoning because it's made with tomatoes and lime and cilantro. Um, so, you know, usually read your labels, but most of the time, if you buy it, you're safe. It's going to have salt in it for sure. I don't know why I'm getting choked up, but I am. Okay. We're going to take it for a spin. So it's going to be loud for just a minute. These are the things I used to edit out, y'all. Do this just for a minute. <laughs> delicious because I don't know if you can see this or not it's got a nice thick texture to it I'm actually kind of surprised how yummy um, this looks um, I used a mild salsa the thing in my household is I love spicy and I've been plant-based for 10 years um, and I didn't used to like spicy for whatever reason my taste buds have changed and I like spicy husband not so much um i sneak stuff in sometimes so i'm trying to acclimate him <laughs> over time um but i try to be kind so with this i mean i hadn't even tried it but i can already whoop, i can already tell you I, I would uh i would want some spice to it so add a little hot sauce or use um a medium or spicy salsa so I'm actually going to just, before I take it out, I want a taste of it because if it needs, you know, this is where I terry tweak things. If it needs a little something, then I can still blend it and not have to pour it back in again. So it smells so good because it's cashews and that nutritional yeast. Holy smokes. You know what? This is way better. See, I was thinking in the back of my head. I do eat salt. I know a lot of you are salt free and that's awesome, but I do usually add salt to um, recipes at least a little bit. And I was thinking truly that I would have to add a little bit of salt to this, but um, I don't. Um, this is great. You know what I think I'm going to do? Um, I like this a lot. My husband's going to like it. A lot. I think I'm, I'm going to leave it in here because I'm going to throw a little bit more ingredients in because it's that good. I want, I want to make enough that will last us. Because, see, when I cook dinner, it's I always make, a, I guess you would call it batch cooking, not like crazy batches of it, but <clears throat> it's enough for us to eat 
tonight enough to pack my husband for lunch and then I will eat some for lunch tomorrow and then we may have it later on during the week and um, this probably is about maybe four servings yeah it actually says four servings um, but I think we're gonna need more of this I kid you not it is delicious um, you could you could use this for a lot of things tacos nachos um, you could even bake you but you know like uh, bake some of the tortilla cut some tortillas with a pizza cutter I have this on my website too if you want to check it out and then just season them and, and then bake them for just a few minutes toast them and use them for chips this is good stuff so I'm surprised surprisingly so Tim if you see this Heather if you see this two thumbs up really awesome and I love that I didn't even have to add salt to it I'm glad I didn't do that right off the bat without uh, tasting it first so I'm gonna make some more y'all so I can put it in a con airtight container and keep it in the refrigerator and we'll eat on this uh, I would imagine he doesn't say how long it will last but if it's like my cheese sauce I mean it could last up to a week in the refrigerator in a good airtight container so yeah I'm making more uh, you guys can get this recipe along with Tim's whole book as well as 113 products uh, if you order your bundle today. Don't forget it's only from February the 3rd to February the 12th over $6,000 worth of products, cookbooks, um, online courses, even Rochester Health Institute uh, put a whole course in there. It's seven videos. It's a video series and a textbook that has like 160 something pages of uh, all about plant-based uh, eating so there's just a lot of stuff if you haven't checked out my other video where I go through and tell you a lot of the things that are in there um, go check it out too because um, this is way too much for me to be able to tell you but this is a winner this is Tim Kaufman's um, Fat Man he goes by Fat Man Rants because that's how he got started and um, so, but it's his cashew queso and it is delicious. So, making more. All right, guys, see you soon. Bye. And it's not turning off, so I'm walking to the camera. Another blooper. <laughs>